OK, so let's look at software installation through the CLI. We do this through a command called apt get. So basically it stands for um, get me an application. The way it works is, is it will go online to a online repository. It will search through that repository for the software that you require. If it can find it, it will then look for any other additional software that may be required to run the first lot of software. And they're called dependencies. So um, in this instance, we're going to be running VNC and or type VNC. So what it will do is it will search through the repository. It will look for any dependencies, for things like Java may be needed and different things. And it will grab those as well. It will then download them all onto your um, Raspberry Pi and will do the installation for you. Now there are lots of options you can use. And here's a very quick sample of some of the options you can get. So the main one you use will be um, apt-get install, which will search through, um, download and install the package for you. You may want to um, update the packages for the latest version, again upgrade. Um, you may want to, you can, there we go, remove, so you can remove and um, or basically unstore software. And there's some options on here on um, different things you can run as well. So you can have a look and see if software is available without actually having to install it. Okay, so let's have a look at apt-get in action. I'm going to run the command sudo apt-get um, install because we want to install the software and we're going to look for the software tight VNC server. Tight VNC server is a server-side application it will uh, open up a listener or a socket depending on what you want to call it and from another machine, a Windows machine or another Linux machine you can run a remote desktop client called TypeVNC which will connect in and will give you a remote desktop session to the graphical user interface from in the Raspberry Pi instance Debian Squeeze. So we can see um, it's downloaded the software it's installed the software from our online repositories and we give it a moment and it will finalize the installation and um, there we go we're ready to start using type vnc so we're now going to run the command type vnc server which is essentially going to start the um, vnc server it's going to ask us for a password for when we access it and it's going to ask us also for a read only password we're going to say no because I'm not interested in a simple read-only access or full rewrite access to the system. So the next thing we need to do is we need to set up um, basically a socket for the VNC server to listen to. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the command VNC um, server. We can then set up a session or socket 1, so colon 1. Um, we're going to give it a um, geometry of 800 by 600, so that's the screen resolution and we're going to give it a color depth so dash depth of um, bit of 24 bit which is a nice safe size once that's been done um, the VNC server will be listening in the background for um, a connection from our client side 